<laughs> Hi, I'm Louis Partridge. I'm 17 years old and I'm in the film Enola Holmes uh, coming out on Netflix where I play the part of Viscount Tewkesbury. <laughs> It, it is pretty daunting because there's obviously going to be people that are like, oh, I think it should be the way it was before. Like, <laughs> like that sort of, I love the I love the earlier Sherlock, but I think it's so important to have new takes and especially this one, it gives it a massive, you know, it gives it so much life and Enola, like I've never heard of Enola, but she's such a great character. And one that, I mean, you don't really see similar characters that often. She's sort of a one-off special um, on, on TV, you know? So I think it's important to have have these new takes and I was a big fan of this one. So to be a part of it was, was great. <laughs> yes, he's, I would describe him as, I mean, you see him and he's quite like, you think, who's this guy? Well, he looks pretty arrogant. Like, I mean, I didn't like him when I first saw him, <laughs> but then, you know, he grows and develops into this person that's actually quite sweet. And you realize he doesn't really know what he's doing and he's kind of lost. And so I think it's really sweet that Anona helps him. And, and I think their relationship is super powerful. And it, I mean, it says a lot about being independent and, and, and growth and friendships, I think. So it says a lot about that. And relating to Tewkesbury, I, I mean, it seemed difficult to start because it's set like 200 years ago. But I mean, he wants things that I want. <laughs> like characters 200 years ago, they're not that different to how they are now. I mean, you realize this more and more, but also stepping on set, it's like you see everything done up. It's, it takes you back in time. So that helps me to, to get into character um, and, and, and relate to him. But yeah, you just gotta, well, for me, I've just gotta understand basically what, what, what he's going through. I, I tell you what, I really like that suit. I think the suit was, was dapper. I think it was very cool. Um, I mean, it wasn't the comfiest of suits. It was a bit sort of, but I mean, I liked it. Oh, actually, no, 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 take it back. I loved the finishing suit with the hat. The, 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 that, that, that final look was the one for me. It was like, he looked, oh, he looks so suave. But then then again, I had this like, this stiff collar on and my neck was killing me. It was absolutely rubbing every time. My rash was insane. So that minus the neck collar, please. Okay, so, um. There's this scene where me and Millie are pushing up against um, a wall and there's Lestrade trying to get on, in on the other side. And we've got this like, they're pushing up against a door, sorry, and he's trying to get in. And it's like, I'm not going to leave you, Anola. Um, I say, I'm not going to leave you, Anola. She says, just go, teach me, just go. And it's like, this whole scene has been building up. It's been building, are they going to catch us? What's going to happen? How long are they going to hold it? What are they going to do? They're in this room, they're trapped. And she's like, just go. Tewksbury runs off, he gets to the window. He looks back at her to give her one last glance and then goes, but I did that and smacked my head on the on this window frame because it was like either side of a window. He, he bangs his head and it was so bad. They played that. This was in the blooper reel. I hope they release it, but in the blooper reel, that was the first thing. And it, you know, it went really far back. So there was the whole builder and then me just smacking my head and everyone bursting out into laughter. It was, oh, it was so bad. Um, I, it surprised me that she was I don't know why it surprised me that she was quite similar to me, as in, I don't know, it's, it's, it's weird to, you see people and you never really, never really think about what they're going to be like when you're actually talking to them, but she is so fun and she's so like personable and she's so friendly. She came up to me and gave me and my mum a hug, like when we, as soon as I met her in the audition room and it's like, yeah, no, she's really, really kind and, and sweet and caring. So I don't know. Oh, that's a lot of compliments. Yeah, I shouldn't hold back on the compliments. But no, I'm a big fan of hers. And I think, yeah, she's great. I would love to see a sequel. I don't know about you. <laughs> but I mean, there are, there, are six, there are five more books within the Enola Home series that were written. Um, Tewkesbury only appears in number one. So he, he's, this, he's number, yeah, he's only in number one. So I would hope that, uh, I don't know, I would love to see them, definitely. I want to see where the relationship goes, but you know, you never know. Let's hope it, let's hope people like Enola. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please watch Enola Homes on Netflix now. Thank you.